Welcome to your QMS Connect video guide. Built on the foundations of our former client portal Launchpad, QMS Connect revolutionizes the management system delivered by QMS. With task management workflows, inbuilt version controls, a new process-based management system, and real-time reporting, QMS Connect evolves with your business, making ISO compliance easier than ever before. QMS Connect provides you with an interactive and significantly more effective way to maintain your management system. This means that you will not be able to find the manual in the same format as it was before. Instead, we've adopted a more user-friendly, process-based approach. The new management system includes all the same content, but organized differently. So your experience of identifying, reviewing, and updating processes should be better thanks to the more intuitive format. The processes are split into three different categories, core, support and management, all of which are located within the processes folder accessible from the main menu. Our aim with QMS Connect is to improve the usability of the management system so that anyone in your business can find what they need as quickly as possible, leading to greater clarity over ownership of tasks, improved communication across your organisation and greater efficiency. To begin, you will need to log in to your QMS Connect account. You can do this by visiting qmsconnect.co.uk or following the link in the invite email. At the top left of the home screen, you will see three lines, also referred to as the burger menu. Click on this icon at any time to call up the main menu. From the burger menu, you can navigate to the management system by selecting processes from the displayed options. Within the processes folder, you will see three sections, core, support, and management. Within each section, there are two further folders called drafts and management system. If there's anything wrong with the content preventing you from accepting it, we ask that you provide feedback by selecting submit comments at the bottom of the screen so that the content can be updated and issued back to you for further approval. To approve the content, you simply need to select Accept from the list and then hit Save. To edit a section of the management system after it's been reviewed and approved, you will need to select the appropriate category under Processes and then go back to the Drafts section. Within Drafts, you'll need to locate the appropriate item from the displayed list and then using the Actions button, click Update. This will open the relevant section of the management system ready for editing. Once you've made your changes, you will need to select Publish from the options at the bottom of the screen and then click Save. A version control window will appear asking for a revision note before the PDF is updated. The new PDF will now appear within the Management System folder with the latest revision information recorded against it. One of the major benefits of using QMS Connect is the new task management functionality. This new feature of the system helps you to create tasks, defining the actions required and the time frame in which they must be completed before allocating them to the right members of your team. When the task is set, an email will be sent to the relevant individual and a notification will appear when they log into the platform. In addition to the tasks that you've set, you'll also see several tasks which have been set by QMS. These will usually appear after an audit. As with your own task, you can update the status of these tasks as they're completed. When developing QMS Connect, people were an important consideration. The intention was that certified organizations were better equipped to involve their team and improve communication, engagement, and ownership of tasks, leading to improved morale. So to create and invite additional users to the system, you will need to navigate to company, via the main menu, followed by Manage and then Users. You will then be taken to a list of existing users. To add further users, you will need to select the Add User button at the top left of the screen. This will open a new window where you'll be prompted to add their details. Once the user has been added, a password reset link will be emailed to the user's email address. After saving the user, you will need to add a profile for them if you wish, of course, to control what they can access within the QMS Connect platform. Please note, if the person you're adding is already using QMS Connect, 
for another organization, they will need to provide a different email address for the second organization. As with any management system, there will be a number of mandatory documents which you're required to maintain, as well as a number of documents you will retain to satisfy the requirements of the standard. To support the management of these documents, we have created a secure, cloud-based document repository, inclusive of customizable digital templates. Some of the templates provided will share the same title as templates which you've received in the past, but please note that these have been updated with the launch of QMS Connect and now include new features, so you may find it beneficial to transfer your existing records into the new QMS Connect templates. It is worth noting at this stage that the digital templates provided within QMS Connect are not Excel based. You are welcome to keep any existing Excel templates, but the templates within QMS Connect are all designed so that you can maintain compliance online in one single platform. To use one of the new templates, you will need to enter the Client Template Library via the main menu, selecting a template from a supplied list and then pressing Copy. A new window will appear, asking you to name a document before taking you to the document content. Once the content is populated, you can click Preview to see how the finished document will look. From here, you can choose to either print, download as PDF, go back by clicking Previous, or close the document, at which point your work will automatically be saved and you'll be taken back to the ISO template library. To locate the final document and continue working on it, you will need to select the ISO Documents Library and then select the appropriate options from the Actions button. If you have any documents outside of QMS Connect which you'd like to save to the platform, you can upload and edit the details of these within the platform so that all outputs are conveniently stored in one location. To do this, you will need to navigate to Documents via the main menu. Then at the top of the screen, you will find an Add Document button, select this and then follow the on-screen prompts in the same way as you did when creating a new document via the Client Template Library. When you click Add, the document will be added to the appropriate folder. For example, an ISO 9001 document created could be found by clicking Documents on the main menu followed by Company Documents, ISO 9001 and then Documents. To help you get used to the new platform and ensure the best possible user experience, we've created a help library, which can be accessed by clicking the Need Help button at the top right hand of your screen. This contains section notes, videos, and other material that we believe will assist you in using the system and help you to maintain the validity of your certification. Depending on where you are within the platform, the content within the help section will change. For example, if you're in the Processes folder, it will only show help content relating to that section. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or you require any assistance, please contact our QMS Connect support team by calling 01603 573 558 or emailing inquiries at qmsuk.com.